times that God will connect you to a man and a woman and you look physically and there's no reason why you should be married and God says just do what I'm asking you to do I am joining altars more than men and two of you will bring a hybrid combination the children that will come out from that altar will introduce a new anointing to the body and you marry somebody you are marrying everything they came with the assignment of a man of God is to help you edit those wicked things before you get into your home that's why you see men who can get angry and tear their wives into pieces and say sorry and do it again or you can see a woman who will carry hot water from the from the pot and put and spray it on her husband and say sorry and do it again in the name of Jesus the spirit of anger not just for those who are out here but for everyone here if there is anyone who is a victim of the spirit of anger right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead be delivered now see a lady that loves God with all her heart you know sometimes it doesn't cease to surprise me and then with all the spirituality here comes this this uh, uh, brother that that is is not you know that this guy is far from the cross he's even far from uh, what name of that place where jesus died golgotha far from it and here comes the lady smiling and asking whether it's the will of god the situation there is lack of values if you have values you already know i can't be this selfish children are going to come from this union and i'm going to submit to this man i don't want a man that will make me bring forth children whose destinies will be destroyed if you are honest and you are serious you will think about your children not just yourself it's not all about my i love you i love you my comfort you are thinking children will come from this what if i start praying with my children and the man comes and says, no prayer in this house what happens to you we now begin to blame god say values what of friends what is your standard for having friends in your life there are married people who have bad friends ungodly friends that keep causing trouble for their homes are we together values spiritual values what is the parameter that qualifies a man to have access to your mind or do you just listen to everybody just because they are talking what must be present in a preacher for you to listen <laughs> god bless my house listen we will fight maybe in the night or in the day or in the morning he wakes up very early he goes to morning prayer and when he's coming to, from money prayer, he goes to the kitchen. You know this uh, Ikaya, I don't know what they call it. They call it Yawo in Bini. It's very soft. It's like egg yam. My husband specially orders for it. He goes to the kitchen all by himself. He gets the oil, he peels the yam, and he fries it and puts soft egg on top. And he comes to the room where is the wife that god gave me where is the wife that god gave me i will put i will put my my, my cover over my head let him be looking for his wife he will come to the room take it away and say honey this is the first gift of the day from me to you who 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 will be so angry when, when, when your husband, I mean the archbishop, brings you breakfast in bed and a cup of coffee, I mean, I will just smile and then ask, give me this fork. I will sit down and eat it. When I taste it, I think he prayed on it. It's out of this world. Tell me how I will not forgive such a one. Please, my dear, I'm telling you men, this is how to cure the anger in your wife if you fought in the night or in the day. Early in the morning, go make a cup of tea and give to your wife. 
kindly subscribe for more.